Greetings, this is Junior Martin of Bob Martin and the Whalers. The time has come for the lion to tell his story. And we have here the lion voice. So listen in and get nourishment for the stomach and for the head cup. Ja, Rastafari. Give thanks. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like him himself. Where's your right ruler? Hey yo! Hey yeah. Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky. It's a lie. The Almighty living on your night. From ancient times, them are child. Them Romans know them just up in them suit and ties. Criminals ain't got no alibi, they stole my people, then them come spread out them genocide. Are you still, about slavery? Them couldn't kill. The lion will come conquer to the tribe. Cool. Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe, see separation, I your nice still rise. That's why we tell them in America, they brought the far right in every ghetto area. We come if you tell them in a Toronto straight at I've said here that there is a distinct difference between Rasta and Rastafari and that's part of what we're going to talk about today but we need to define what makes someone Rastafari and who are the Rastafari brethren and sistren. We need to put some definition some you know because as I say on this channel we don't deal with the Lucy Goosey Liberty. This is a lion tribe you see um, the people who subscribe here are part of the Lion Pride. The people who invest here are the Lion Pride on Patreon. It's a different settings over here. This is this is uh, you know a, a platform from the root. Yes, uh, we may grow to millions, or we will grow to millions. Let me block the sound. This platform will grow to millions of subscribers, millions of views, but we are building it based on the root because the root have to be there in order to be powerful so we are we are coming from foundation so let us really dive into this episode so we are diving deep today into who and what is rastafari what makes somebody rastafari they can call themselves rastafari and remember i'm defining this different than rasta and and we'll get into to that as well uh, it, this, this is such an important topic. I was in a reasoning on Facebook and within the reasoning, you know, this is with an elder uh, brethren uh, and the brethren probably around I'm on age and, the, you know, the, 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 the topic was, you know, if you don't accept the teachings of His Majesty, can you be Rastafari? And this is where the distinction lies because, of course, Haile Selassie the first. That's it. And let me say, uh, I'm going to be giving my full review on the Ballad and the Dread podcast on I Never Know TV. Uh, it's going to be live, I believe, on Monday at 7 p.m. So go over to I Never Know TV. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you came here from I Never Know TV, which some of the Lion Pride found us through I Never Know TV, uh, lock in. Uh, I'm going to be on the Ballad and the Dread with Junior and Atarchi. We're going to go deep into the film. I'm going to give my assessment. I'm going to see the film again tomorrow to a private screening. So I'll really uh, be able to sink in. Um, but one of the things that is very clear for those who are familiar with Bob Marley Chad is that his message was Rastafari. There's no separating Rastafari from Bob Marley. And that is what makes bob marley rastafari i would put him in the rastafari category although he had a lot of rasta characteristics and that is important that you have some rastafari who are also rasta but not all rasta are rastafari uh, let me say that again you have rastafari brethren who are also rasta because rasta i define it as a culture um, but you have uh, some Rasta 
are not Rastafari. You understand? So Rastafari, that's what we're going to talk about. Who and what is Rastafari? That's what we're going to talk about. We're putting some definition. The thing get too loosey-goosey. And uh, there are some things that need to happen right now and that are, are that are happening right now but it is not common knowledge so one still um chatting oh they they used to chat and let me tell the ones them this you see all of this lone lion and lioness business if you're a lone lion and lioness business this is not the time for the item uh this is armor gideon this is collective security and this again where do we get this sound collective security it come from his imperial majesty so we're going to talk about these definitions. Before we get into that, big up Ramia King Design. I have my tumbler, big up Rasledge. Um, Rasledge, one of our brethren who support sponsoring the, the platform, helping I and I to, to continue to deliver the content. Uh, big up CMOS Life, and next brethren who support, invest, help I and I to to big up and see us uh, we're gonna be bringing some more see us uh, content about the plant the everything um, coming up uh, that's a long-term uh, sponsor I do uh, ha have an interest uh, in that company too so we're, we're gonna be bringing more see us content uh, to the item also we have uh, the Haile Selassie's Ethiopia, Volume 1, epic um, non-fiction journey of, about the birth of His Majesty. Uh, it's a non-fiction book that's written like it's fiction, like an epic fantasy story. Um, so make sure you tap in. We just had an event in uh, Miami, Florida, intimate event. It was well received. The people, them love it. Uh, so I, I will be bringing some footage from that event shortly. Uh, we're a small operation. That's why we want one to invest in the Patreon so we can hire an editor. We can increase the, the rate of content coming out and the types of content, mini documentaries we're going to start with. Um, in, 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 in other, uh, information, we as Rastafari need our independent media, need our independent content creation that's directed to a Rastafari global audience um, even though again it may find wider appeal we need things that are directed that are carrying the narrative that are true to the essence and the source so if if the item feel that's important please uh, invest five ten dollar uh, join the patreon and let us continue to grow as a lion pride Big up the Lion Pride on Patreon. 11 Fire Angels are in there. We do have exclusive content in there as well that you cannot find. Uh, we have an exclusive uh, journey to the School of Vision uh, where we look at their sacramental grow. That's only available on the Lion for the Lion Pride on Patreon. Uh, we have the School of Vision episode, but we edit out certain things. That's for the inner circle. Um, you have to have some skin in a game you have to invest you know before we, we show certain things again uh loosey goosey this is not a loosey goosey um chad so big up uh all right so let's get into the topic um, i'm gonna present three essential things for someone to be rastafari three essential things and i'm not asking you know what I mean? This is uh, to I have to be someone have to draw the line. Uh, ones can argue in the comments. That's fine. Uh, it's not going to change the reality um, as the truth. The truth is an offense. It's not a sin. And we have to understand, you know, a lot of brethren who just love Pan-African culture. You know, they're, they're in love with other aspects, you know, Kemet traditional african cultures um they come in into rastafari and you know they are spreading teaching that are in opposition to the king I and mean, i said that don't make no sense for one to say that they are rastafari and you're basically saying that the king 
is a liar and is speaking foolishness to the people as it relates to his belief and what he outlined in his teaching. Uh, and to I, that, you know what I mean, the mental gymnastics that are required to justify saying that one is Rastafari while at the same time being in opposition to Rastafari teaching to I. But again, I would put those ones in the Rasta category because Rasta, again, is the culture, is the colors, is the, the, the swag, it's the, you know what I mean? Um, yes, you can be Pan-African, but yes, you can do other things too because Rasta do things where Rastafari never do. And this is the essence of where we're coming to. Um, for all of the ones who are new to the chat, maybe you saw the Bob Marley One Love and you, you search and you, you, you came into this territory, into Lion Country here on the Lion Voice Network. I will say that number one, Rastafari comes from a living man. It's a liberty. When we say liberty, that means the way of life. The way of life was lived. This is how we became aware um, to embrace and to see it within self is that it's a liberty, it's a living eye. True and living is one of the first things you'll hear coming into the movement. Well, the leaders of the world are failing their responsibility to lead the youth them to a brighter future. Well, I and I, I and I hear the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Earth's rightful ruler. How does the free last far I crowd Uncomfortable Me come to tell them I'm a Babylon near falling down to far I dismantle you Me come to tell them how the free last far I crowd Uncomfortable Me come to tell them I'm a Babylon near falling down to far I dismantle you Me come to tell them how Palace intrigue in fighting the Prince Solomon see Well Empress tight to want her family to lead Well King Michael wanting some to lead but King Michael now watch the orphan married to him niece who get up every day and a study and a read he work and he pray every day he achieve them so you the leader every ancient leader just the way vast the far I crown me come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down to far right It's Uncle Lou Me come to tell them how the big ass The far right crowd And come to me Me come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down to far right It's Uncle Lou Well, that's my call Son was having a good time When he should mind your fears of the state, cause he's descend from the great line of men that like the second, but he's stepping on toes of his elders, treat his women like hoes, he exposed, now we working with the Ottoman Turks, say he's descending from Muhammad, but that's not how this works, see the crown was anointed by the Orthodox Church, so if you are ruling as I don't have to put Christ first.